Well, on Saturday, July the 1st, in the main event of the Bring the Heat promotion in Brighton, we are getting ready for an absolutely cracking fight. The champion, national lightweight champion, Seb Hallett, defends his title against the national super featherweight champion, Salah Triple M Busik. And today, I'm delighted to be joined by Salah, who here at the Top Dog Gym near New Malden in Surrey, and we're here to find out a little bit more about your opportunity, your training, and talk about how this fight came about. So Salah, obviously, first and foremost, delighted well, to be you. We're here with you. you. How are you? Thank you, you're welcome. Uh, I'm ready for it. Um, I respect Sab I respect his, uh, his style. I fought him before, one year ago. So I'm here to prove myself. I'm here to prove my skills. I believe in it. I believe in it inside me. I'm super, super, super federal national champion. So I'm going up to be double national champion. And, uh, in uh, two divisions, so I'm here to make a legacy. He's there to prove in front of his people. I'm there to make a legacy to prove my name in Quest, in Quest Glory, in uh, Quest Glory. So I'm ready for it. Uh, respect his skills, his sport, his respect. But I'm there to win. I don't care what's gonna take. If he wanna win, he need to kill me to to keep that belt. But I'm there to take it. I respect everyone. So good luck to him. From from my first fight, I, f I fought him. It was it was it was a hard fight for me because I stopped for one year and, and a half or two years I think. So it was a very hard fight and it was one of f f the first fight after two years of stopping bo boxing completely, no boxing, you know. And I'm there to prove. I prove I I lost by split decision, but I'm there to take a real match. I ask for a real match and I got it. Thank you for to give me this opportunity. I'm hanging it with my teeth. I don't care what's gonna happen. I'm there to die, die or win. That is my, that is my thing. So good luck to him and I respect him and I respect everyone in the ring who jump in the ring. That is not easy moment to be in the ring and to fight because boxing is not funny game. Is you are there to fight. When you fight, you are there to prove. You got beat in your face and you, you break your nose, your teeth, your anyways. So it's not it's not easy game. It's a hard game, but I respect everyone who go inside the ring. I respect him too. I respect myself too. I'm there to prove. I'm there to make a legacy for myself, for my country, for my people, for my gym, for my coach Mark. Uh, he helped me a lot to be to be to be here. So I respect everyone. And hmm. thank it's you. it's a it's a fascinating fight. I mean, I have to uh, say that. I remember watching that fight ringside and, um, yeah. and it was such a tough fight to score. Yeah. You know, obviously Seb Hallett, you know, coming into that fight or after that fight, I should say, said, you know, that's the worst I've boxed. Um, I really wanted to put on a performance in there. I know that, you know, for yourself at this stage of your quest career and obviously Seb Hallett's, you've both come on from that fight yes. and you've both made and cemented your own sort of path to glory, obviously for yourself. Yes a career best performance last time out, beating um, the, the highly fancied Mohamed Yakubi. Yeah. you know, one of my favorite fights I've ever watched in Quest, you know, toe to toe, yeah. you know, you gave everything in that fight and it was such an entertaining fight to watch. And for you, obviously, having that opportunity now to go back in the ring with Seb Hallett, who also has improved, who's gone on to win regional and national up at lightweight, all the ingredients, everything about this fight from who's improved the most. You know, you can, you can both call yourself a Quest national champion, but ultimately the belt is on the line, the sort of the, the legacy of becoming a two division champion. But more importantly, you get the opportunity now to sort of to say, I can right the wrongs from that first fight. The belt's great. Being a two weight champion is, is great, but getting revenge over Seb Hallett and showing that actually that long layoff, coming back into the ring and still getting a split decision shows that I believe, you know, I've got what it takes now with my progression to show everybody that I'm actually a better fighter than Seb Hallett. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm there to show everyone who I am, man. I'm there to, to prove my skills. I'm, prove, I'm there to, to show them, you know, I suffer a lot. I go hard time from, from the last national champ, uh, champion belt. Uh, it was my, one of my hard week of training, of stress, of things, but I keep believing it, man. I don't care what's gonna take. My, my coach is believing it, my team is believing it, everyone is believing it, we put it at work, we catch it, we take it. I'm there to take the belt, I'm 
I'm there to make to be double national champion. So it is what it is. Hmm. Sab Hadis has been ready for me, man. I respect you, but when in the ring, I'm, I know you, you know me. I respect you, you need to respect me. So good luck to you. Good luck to you from the front of your people, from your, from your family. So let's make it. Hmm. And final sort of thoughts, like I say, it's the first time that the competition has gone to Brighton, which is obviously a kind of a, a homecoming show for yeah, Seb yeah. Hallett. It's the main event. And this fight originally, to, for the fans, this fight originally wasn't made. There was going to be sort of um, potentially another fight for Seb Hallett. But when you got the call, when your coach sort of spoke to you about it, I know that he said, oh, I know Salah will take the fight. He yeah. wants the fight. And yeah. he's unlike a lot of fighters where in boxing, it's kind of littered with fighters who will be in and out of the gym but they only really come in when they've got a fight when they've got a fight date when they're working towards something but mark has always said you know salah is a, a gym rat he's in the gym constantly he's training he's learning he he lives and breathes every single aspect of boxing and he will be ready if you gave him this fight at a week's notice at two weeks notice he would be ready would so for yourself what would it mean to go down to his hometown revenge, another belt, become the undisputed sort of uh, lightweight national champion. How would that feel for you? Uh, I'm there to prove, man. I'm there to prove myself. That I know it's very hard to, to fight with someone in his town in front of his people. I know he's going to put 101% of his everything. So I'm there to put 102%. 1% is going to make a difference between me and him. So... I'm there to die, I'm there to, to win. I, I don't know what's gonna take, but I'm there, I'm taking it. When Mark, he's, he told me like, we kind of put you with Sab Halitz again, I accept it quick, I say I want it, because I, I, I was waiting for Sab to, to, and I was waiting for everyone to give me this opportunity with the Sab Halitz, so I want it, I want to, because we have a deal between us, you know, one and oh, he win one time. I, I didn't want. So let's make it. Let's make it really. Let's make. Let's show who is the best. I think this is the the right way. I want to say. Let's, let's show who is the best. I think it's gonna be tough fight. Very, very tough fight, and it's gonna be one of the best fight in the night. Trust me. Mm. So, if you wanna stop me, you need to kill me both. <laughs> Well, listen, Salah. It's a pleasure to speak to you. And as Thank I say, you. for the league's fans who who saw your last fight, we all know deep down that this will be the fight of the night and you know neither of you wants to lose neither of you wants to come out of that ring without the title and we can't wait to watch the fight so i'm going to let you get back to training i know that we've kind of emptied the gym out everybody's standing outside waiting to come back in so we could do this interview so good luck and as i say it all takes place saturday july the 1st at the brighton hilton metropole the national super featherweight challenger salah triple m busik he holds the belt at super featherweight, but he now goes up to face old rival Seb Hallett in the main event. You're